Good morning, everyone. Thank you. Um, I'm pleased to be invited to appear today and delighted to be able to present to you what Westfield, a traditional bricks and mortar business, is doing in the ever growing and expanding mobile marketplace. This is an important topic for everyone, but particularly a company like Westfield, because we as a company are at the intersection of so much that is going on in retail globally. We interact on a daily basis with retail and shoppers at all levels and in multiple markets around the world. We have 100 centres valued at more than $60 billion. Um, forgive us, being an Australian company, we do put everything in Australian dollars. Uh, we have $40 billion in retail sales annually. We have 1.1 billion shopper visits across our 100 centres. We work with 23,400 retailers. We have more than 50 years experience and we are the only global shopping centre brand currently deployed in six countries. Australia, the US, the UK, New Zealand, Brazil and in 2017, Italy. All of this, I think, gives us a unique perspective on the market and what dynamics are changing the way we operate. I think the way the Westfield business has adapted and continues to adapt across this broad range of retail activity is worth examining because it holds clues as to what the next generation of retail could look like. Firstly, we're all aware of the pace of change. Take that as a given because change has always been part of the retail story. To illustrate this, let's look back briefly to the 1970s. Here's a US shopping mall in 1977. Here are shoppers in the 1970s. And here is technology from the 1970s. <coughs> and now, here's Westfield London today. And Westfield Stratford City. And Westfield Sydney. The retail offer is not the only place, however, that we have seen change. Shoppers have changed. Technology has changed, and this is having a massive impact on how people shop and what they shop with. The 1970s mall provided a platform to aggregate retailers so that they could serve a broad range of consumers, thereby maximising choice and convenience. The Westfield centres of today are no different in that sense. They are no different from the 1970s mall in terms of what they do but they are radically different in terms of how they do it. And what are the key factors that make the comparisons radically different? The answer lies in adaptation, and adaptation in four key areas. The quality of the design and the standard of services, the growing internationalization of retail, the higher standard of the food offering and the integration of food with fashion and entertainment, and creating the customer experience, making the shopping trip add up to more than the sum of its parts, making it relevant, appealing, and giving a reason to shoppers to keep coming back. And this is where digital innovation, and particularly mobile marketing, has been a key point of adaptation for Westfield. Today, I won't be focusing on the first, three, the first three points, but I would like to spend a little time sharing with you our experiences, learnings, and execution around adaptation. So what makes an experience? The quality design and services, the integration of food and fashion, the tiering of the retail offer. These all provide the opportunity to create a vibrant and ever-changing experience for shoppers. These are all important, but where we have focused recently in the UK has been in the arena of mobile marketing, particularly delivering on the growing trend of personalization. <coughs> Today's shoppers are ever-changing. They are more fickle, less brand loyal, and far more technology savvy. <coughs> they are both positive and negative advocates <coughs> for brands and have no qualms about passionately sharing experiences particularly across digital channels. Now we have had to focus on connecting the digital shopper with the physical mall 
And one of the key ways we have achieved this is through the development of our mobile app. But why is, mob is mobile so important? Firstly, mobile is disrupting the traditional patterns of consumer behaviour with regards to media consumption. Time spent with mobile apps is starting to challenge television. Consumers are spending 127 <coughs> minutes per day in mobile apps, up 35% from 94 minutes at the same time last year. And they only spend 168 minutes per day watching television. Secondly, without tailor-made relevant content and offers, over 50% of US and Canadian shoppers would consider ending their loyalty relationships. Thirdly, there is a clear intrinsic link between a bricks and mortar business and the digital world. The two can and should no longer be separated. They are simply avenues of information <coughs> for shoppers. And finally, if we don't get mobile right, we will no longer have a direct relationship with the shopper and more terrifying, there will be a large proportion of the world's population that we will no longer be able to communicate with. Currently, however, mobile apps in Westfield have delivered very functional information from where things are in the centre, what time the centre opens, what stores shoppers can find there, to how many available car parking spaces there are, how to navigate around the centre, and what offers are available. However, this is not what the shopper of today wants from a mobile app, or from brands for that matter. What we are seeing from brands like Topshop, Netta Porter, and ASOS is a move towards inspirational content around their products and offers, something for shoppers to spend time on and to interact with. The more personalised the content, the more relevance it has for shoppers, and therefore, the greater interaction they will have with it and with the brand. In conjunction with Seattle-based company Influence and our existing app developer, Connect IB, we have developed a first for shopping centres and what we believe to be a unique offer for shoppers. In just under 30 seconds, a customer profile contains 84 demographics, 601 interests, and over 2,000 brand affinities. On average, the profile is 81% accurate after 30 seconds, moving to 100% accuracy once verified by the user. Live applications have resulted in a 10 to 52 times increase in response rates due to only serving content matched to the user's unique interests. So how does it work? First, the shopper can pick their preferred centre, either Westfield London or Westfield Stratford City. The default will be the centre that they are closest to, and this will be picked up through our location-based service. However, if the shopper wants to choose a different centre, they can do so from this home screen. Once they have picked their centre, they then choose brands they like, but they have fun doing it. They swoot up to like brands, and they swoot down if they don't like those brands. Based on their brand choice, a profile is created of their interests called an autograph. The user can then edit and correct their preferences if they wish. Content is then matched to the profile and displayed to the user in order of relevance on the app homepage or the wall as we are calling it. Shoppers then click, uh, simply click on the tile that they're interested in to find out more information, purchase it, or use it. The offers are also not just Westfield offers. There are other third-party offers that we are using to ensure that we're providing all relevant content and offers, not just those specific to Westfield. It was important for us to maintain key functionality in the app to deliver to the more functional shopper requirements that still exist so you can see the nav bar has been moved <coughs> to the bottom with only key icons shown on the home screen. This is an exciting innovation for us as a company and also for the broader shopping centre environment. We're using unique technology to deliver an experience to shoppers that is personal, relevant, engaging, and above all else, fun. We're certain that this will change the way shoppers interact with Westfield shopping centres for the benefit of our shoppers, our retailers, and the Westfield brand. 
Our app actually launches on Thursday of this week, the 27th, um, and you are all more than welcome to um, come to either Westfield, London or Stratford where we have free Wi-Fi connection and it's a very good connection um, and download the app. Um, and yeah, we'd be very interested to, to have feedback from people who've used it. So thank you very much for your time.